Okay, wonderful. Wes, uh, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are at it again. It's another session of Wake Up and Win, hosted by Coach Mustafa uh, and ILA Partners Africa. We are doing a great job. We are changing the industry. We are changing narrative of, uh, uh, of uh, what it takes to win in this industry. We are living by, by our word. We believe uh, so much into training our members and joining IRA partners uh, is one of the best team and the best decision you can ever make for yourself and for the people you care about. So I want to welcome to this session yesterday, uh, just to, uh, to, uh, to, to, sum to, sum to, summarize, uh, to summarize everything for you. Yesterday, we talked about something very, very, very important, something very, very, very powerful. And yesterday, we are so much interested in uh, making a list. Hope everybody here, you already made your list and, uh, and uh, you have the trained people that you could call immediately and hope uh, the new people who are in your team, you guided them into that very process. Let me tell you, everything I say here is not for entertainment. They are action on. You need to be practical with it and sit, go sit down your team and uh, be in position to apply these principles. If you want your business to take shape or go to the next level. So make sure you made your list. Uh, if you never made any, uh, but if you made, I hope yesterday you added two people on your list. Uh, if you had new people, hope uh, you, you had to sit down with them and, um, and uh, you guided them through that, all the process up to this level and uh, guided them at least to first count with the 20 names of people. And uh, more importantly, you also uh, guided them on how to make appointment uh, using a support and up, uh, support uh, support and, and practice approach, which we saw from uh, from Omega Pro, I mean, from uh, GoPro, GoPro uh, book by, by Eric Quale. And uh, yesterday I gave a very powerful script and I gave you the principles when you are making the appointment. We have to be in Halle. We have to compliment the prospect. We have to make the invitation. We have to use the principle. If I would you, uh, if I set up a lunch, if I, whatever, you remember very well yesterday, we followed very well. I don't want to repeat myself. But in case you missed uh, yesterday's episode, uh, I, I commend you to go to our, our, our ILF TV, which is our YouTube channel and you will be able to see and uh, all watch uh, uh, the, the lip ray. So um, uh, it was very, very powerful. So now today we, uh, we want to look at something very, very powerful. Uh, hope also we talked about the text messages in that uh, event can be used to secure appointments whereby so somebody if uh, an introvert is not good at making phone calls and CAT has power cross, it can always send uh, messages in this form to schedule an appointment to with, with their people. Hope you cope these messages and hope you cope the draft and uh, customize to your own. Uh, and the message does not mention anything to do with Omega Pro or anything to do with an investment, but just want to meet a person because of something very urgent where you may use his or her help. I believe if that person values you, will give you time to go meet them or come and meet you. So it's very, it's very important to note how far we have come. So today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, remember in this series, we are talking about how can we get our people started light? Because we believe if, um, if people are started the light way, even they will, they will finish the light way, you understand? Hmm? The, how, how you launch a person is very important in this business. The reason why people, they are not making money in this industry, uh, and they, they just want to be passive or to just go there doing scam because people, they hate the process of real building. Let me tell you, many of you up to date, you thought maybe ne uh, network marketing is just gambling. Network marketing uh, does not have formulas, does not have principles uh, because I've never got in a chance to be schooled the right way about the bigger picture in this industry. But let me tell you, everything in this industry can is traceable. Everything in this industry is teachable and duplicable, duplicable. meaning uh, we can really, uh, if we get people who have made millions of dollars in this industry, uh, they, they will tell you this was not by a chance. There are things they used to do on a daily basis at a personal level, at a team level, at a company level, and those things, if you are, 
you get a chance and they mentor you via those, th uh, those things, the way they used to learn to invite, the way they used to prospect, the way the, they used to promote the events, the way, they, the way they present, the way they follow up, the way they cross sales, all those are attainable and learnable skills. So it's not by chance, these people were deliberate about mastering their craft. And the reason why a lot of us are not making money in this industry, because we have not reached a level whereby we have made a deliberate decision to go out there and master the, uh, the, whatever it takes to be a success in the industry of network marketing or to be a success in Omega Pro, to do to learn whatever skills there is that can improve or all at your results that you are having in, a, in Omega Pro. And for me, uh, the reason why, uh, the reason why, uh, why I hate Omega Pro, for instance, let me be honest. The reason why I, I, hate, I, I hate Omega Pro, because Omega Pro pays us passive income. Well, but even if you don't bring nobody, the company is going to pay you. And if you compound, you're gonna make 300 percent, three times more within 16 months. So that alone makes for comfortable. That alone uh, blocks people from, uh, from going out there to depend on sales and recruits for them to make money. If the if they getting get stuff, it's very easy for them to quit on themselves, to quit on the issue of building teams. I feel like, you know what? I just want to grow my money. But just imagine a situation where Omega Pro never had the option of, of just investment and making passive income without bringing nobody. And I can tell you, many of you couldn't be here because you don't have the mantle. You don't have what it takes to build the network. If they check, if they remove the investment and secure team building, you don't make money. Yet some of us, we shall continuously make money because we have mastered, we have given, we have put in time to master the skill that it takes for us to make money. That's why Eric Quarry says that in this industry, we have about three categories of people. We have amateurs, uh, we have posers, and we have the professional. You understand? Mm? An amateur does not know anything that's going on in, 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 <laughs> in Omega Pro. He just wakes up, he just finds even money on a, on, uh, in, on, uh, in, in his back office, I don't know even how the money came about. What he knows, he just put money there. You understand? Then you have people uh, that they look to be like a leader. They work like, a lead, like leaders. They seem they know what they are doing. Yeah, but if you check them, they don't have even the skill. They don't have the right mindset that builds this industry. And then you have the professionals that have mastered the mindset, the skill, and the strategies that takes to build big in, uh, in network marketing. Yes. So, and I, I commend each and every one of you here to make a decision to go pro, to make a decision to become a professional builder in Omega Pro. Let me tell you, the world wants to work with people who know what they are doing. You understand? When a prospect comes to you, they want to know that they're joining the number one expert in this industry. But if they see you are gambling, you are not sure that even you are sure, you don't give them the confidence or all the courage they need to make a decision because yourself, you are doubting yourself. Yourself, you cannot even answer some questions there is about the business, about what it takes to succeed in this industry. And you think it's just scrum work, you think just that. No, let's be on the deliberate mission to master everything there is. That's why we will resume this wake up and win very big time so that we can go back to the basics because some, we have now a lot of new people who have joined the squad. It's time so that we can elevate you to reach the level of understanding which most of the leaders we are on right now. So I'm starting right now. Uh, you see, I'm I'm um, I'm building my fire from uh, from my belly through my speech so that I can be able to give you my best. So if you don't have your downline, if you don't have your team member here and he misses today's episode, trust me, if that person will not forgive you if you discover what, you, what I'm about to share with you. So let call that person to wake up, call everybody. You understand? And call everybody because this is the, the best thing you can do to help them. You understand? Sometimes you think the best way you can help people is by telling them what they want to hear. You understand? But sometimes uh, the reason why, uh, why, why we value our parents, because some of, some, of, some of them, they give us tough love. They could tell us if you are wrong, even they could punish us. And guess what? Uh, we grew into men and women we are proud to be because there was somebody behind us who, were, who, could not, who could not pretend 
if you did wrong, your mother could call you, your dad could call you, and could punish you and hold you accountable. And, and uh, parents who never did that, that did to their children, it was a disservice. And those children, they are finding it hard to win in life. But some of, of us who grew in two tough hands, we have uh, the mantle yeah? <laughs> to sustain no matter, no matter what situation we face, we, face, uh, we face in life. So I commend you guys. Reach out to everybody in your team. They'll give you excuses. You know what? I'm still too late. I have this thing going on. Don't listen to any excuses. If they decide to join you under, under your team, you, may, or you already made the mistake. The first mistake which you did, you never got them started right. Meaning in the first 48 hours, you were supposed to call that person uh, who joined your team and had a sit down uh, with that person and have this conversation like which I'm having with you guys. But since you never did, the, the second help you can give them by waking that person up Either is an investor or just, I don't care if just a networker or somebody testing waters in Omega Pro, let them come and, and tune in. They don't listen to any excuse because this is the best way you can, you, you, can help, you can help them. Call them before they sleep and tell them, you know, you know uh, wake up or sleep early so that tomorrow and wake up, wake up early because everybody can wake up early, most especially if you, have a, if you have a flight early morning. Nobody misses a flight. You understand? So it's all about what we value. So today, uh, in this in this session, I want to cover a very very important part of uh, of of launching this new person. You understand? We call it a grand opening. It's called grand opening, guys. You should get excited. And when I talk about uh, when I talk about uh, the issue of um, of um, of grand opening, you know, let let me tell you. Remember. Forget about the team, forget about everything. Just think about yourself. You have got money. Mm? And you have decided to start a new business. Mm? Be, be, uh, be a restaurant. Mm? Be, uh, 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 be a restaurant, for example. You are going to, you have, uh, you have got a good location. You have, uh, you have bought all the chairs where the customer are going to eat. You have hired a chief. You have invested the same way you invest in the restaurant. The question is, after putting everything in the restaurant, will you just sit down there to wait for, for things to magically happen? What I know about uh, people who open restaurant is what you call the grand opening of the restaurant. They are going to call all their relatives. They're going to call all their friends. They are going to call almost everyone that they know, care, uh, care about them, uh, 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 care about them. Uh, and also they care about, about, about those, very, those very people. So they are going to call everybody. You understand? And they are going to lock in a date. This is going to be the date for my grand opening of my restaurant. And people, they will come. Uh, if you're testing it, even sometimes they will just give free food uh, so that people they can come and taste and, and, uh, and um, test the food. They test the food and, and uh, so that... Uh, the, um, if they find the food good, they can always come and eat from that that food spot. So what's here? What we are trying, what we are trying to the person who's opening up a restaurant, what he's trying to achieve is that if I get these people to come and see the location and understand the uniqueness of my my menu, uh, that they cannot get in, uh, uh, anywhere, and they understand my customer service. Maybe they would they treat this restaurant as their restaurant and they always come and support me. Secondly, uh, even if they don't support me, if they have liked everything which I've, which I've put together in this restaurant, guess what? They can recommend their friends. So in the grand opening, I was them, well, how was food? Do you think we can make this maybe your lunch, your lunch spot or breakfast spot because we have everything you like? Or can you come along with your friend? I give out flyers, I give out everything, I make advice. And uh, people, they go out there and they, they give me, you know, they start recommending people to my restaurant. Why? Because for that to happen, I have to set a date where I call everybody to have a look about what, what we are doing. So a launch or a grand opening is the day we get to proclaim ourselves and ban all our boss. And we tell everybody that, you know, we have started a new business and this, this is what it's all about. Remember yesterday we saw, so you already have made your list. Hmm? Now we want to invite for to, this for to your grand opening. You have started a new business and you need your help because you are launching it out. 
even if many people, if many people, you, you know, you know how we do it here in Africa. So even if you just open up an office with the people who are launching out offices, you call everybody to come and see your, your, your office. Sometimes they pray about it, they put hands on it, you dedicate it to the Almighty. So that's what's happening here. Even if we start this business, ladies and gentlemen, we help our new people to set a date for their grand opening. You understand? So we can maybe take the next two weeks. Maybe in the uh, by end of uh, end of the month we can do the individual appointment. But end of, at the end of the day, we build up everything to uh, a particular date. Maybe the uh, maybe this person he can decide to do um, uh, a home event whereby he, uh, he's going to take some, some meal. If you have a, we have a home and you know you can invite some people and you're comfortable with, comfortable with that, so you can even use your home. And with with the, with, with your uh, with your upper can come over with a laptop blah 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 you invite everybody to your home and you break out the news the same way you do it uh uh when there is what you call you call it baby shower ladies you know what I'm talking about when you want to take to to break to everybody the news that you're expecting at a time and they will be happy for you oh my god you cannot believe it you understand so all we can call it uh we can call it uh, a wedding lunch. You understand? Remember, you have been, we have been with your hubby uh, um, in love, but now you have rocked in the date for your wedding. So what are you going to do? This is what you call wedding launch. So what you are going to do, you are going to call everybody who you think can be of support in this wedding and their important part in this wedding. And you're going to call all of them. You understand? What you call wedding launch. And people, they will come and support. You know what happens in wedding meeting? People, they support, they pledge because they want to support you. They, are, they, they care about you. Now, they, now, the same way you do the wedding lunch, the same way you do the restaurant lunch, also tell your new person, you need, also need to do a business lunch. You started your Omega Pro business. The question is, have you launched your Omega Pro business? It's time to launch it. You understand? Wherever you lock in the date, you have your venue, be a home, be a restaurant, be the office venue, whereby you know this place, all my people I care about who are on the list, they can easily access this place. And uh, you, with the support of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of your applying, even your applying can be there to help you do the closing, to help you do the, do the presentation. And you call friends, you know, because that's it for the cup of tea. I'm starting a new business and I'll have, I'll have a launch and I may need your support. You are my friend, you have to be there. So if they just come, the way they come to the wedding lunch and they be there, uh, 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 they, they be they be there for you. So um, we treat it, uh, we treat it like uh, opening uh, opening up a restaurant, and we treat it like like uh, at, uh, like a list because this is going to help you build your business first. Just imagine if on your business lunch you can invite twenty people and they show up. This is what they care about. Remember how to invite them. We talked about it yesterday. You can send a message uh, if 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 I. Uh, uh, you, you can you can sit here. Hmm? I'm about to launch something new. Hmm? It has not started yet, but I may use your help. Hmm? How you schedule this early Saturday at 2 p.m.? Text me back for details. Say, yeah, what business launch? I'm about to launch something new. You understand? So people, people they come because they're coming to your launch and they want to support. Hmm? The same way you can send a message, I'm about to start to, to, uh, to do my wedding, uh, wedding launch. Hmm? Whatever, how is this kid? Like, can you come over to my wedding lunch? And I'm about to launch something new. So this is why this type of message they make out of say when you if you have locked in your the this for you launch of your business, meaning it's time to start inviting. Huh? And the people they come all together, and uh, you are together with the upline, you have your laptop, maybe you have your lap projector, and then you, you uh, I'm gonna we're gonna share the part you share your story why you're excited share your excitement why you made a decision and leave everything to your opponent to do the, the perfect presentation to your people and how they can be able to grow their money instead of being stuck in the bank account and you see results happening so it's called your grand opening you understand get, because you want to get your product story first mm? it's very important you want to get your product story first uh by this I mean Product story is uh, our investment product. Our investment product, we, we presume by the time you are going to do the launch, at least you have earned money from Omega Pro. You put maybe a, uh, a $7 and maybe you have made a $100. You bought a, a license, which is a product of Omega Pro, a license over $1,000, and it has been paying you at least 10% on a monthly basis. So by the time you are doing the launch, 
You open up your back office, guess what? This is what I did uh, with this product. The way it works is this. I put this 1,000 and guess what? This business, Monday to Friday, has been paying me without fail. And every day, without me start doing anything, without even if I decide to sleep, the money keeps dropping in. You share your product story. You understand? And more importantly, uh, uh, you also sell more of your products. Meaning, by if people they see how it works for you, and they are your people, they also want to try it the way you tried it. And this is going to help you sign up new distributors under your team very fast. Because if you have 20 people and you do your launch very well uh, with the help of your uh, with your upline, don't care about the big the, the big the, the, the big the, the big events. If you cannot organize your home, you can take advantage of the local event uh, which is being done in your local in your local market. And for you, as you're inviting people, it's as if you're the one organizing uh, the, the event at Golden Jubilee. You understand? You're the one, it's as if they're in Arusha, it's as if you're the one who organizes the event in Arusha, but it's a team because you know all the uplines are going to be there. But as they, as uh, like we are doing dinners, for example, and we are, we are having a dinner. You call your people for your grand launch for a dinner, you are going to be launching something new and you need, you need their support. Uh, the details will be available at the dinner. So they will come and share your story and you'll be inspired. Hope it's making sense. If you like this, please type two in the chat box. If this makes sense, please type two in the chat box. Let me see if I'm not speaking to myself. If, you're, if uh, you could wish to launch your business uh, and it sounds to be a good idea, just imagine if every person you get uh, within the first 48 hours, uh, you schedule a date on which he's going to launch his business. No, yeah, let me tell you, people who succeed in this business, amateurs join the business. Professionals launch their business. Professionals launch their business. It's uh, meaning if you have never launched a business, it's time for today in this call. You make a decision when it's going to be your launch date. Whereby you are going to call everybody you care about, put them in your home. Uh, and also invite your upline and do a, do a presentation all or a whole high hotel, maybe schedule an, an, an evening. To, that's the way we do the wedding style. But instead of talking about the wedding, the wedding, whatever uh, budget, we are talking about their financial budget and how they can secure financial freedom. Leveraging <laughs> mega flow. Hope it makes sense. Hope it makes sense. So how only few people following this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me, let me recognize them. Yes, I have Prosy, I have Julius, I have Lesty. Yes. Does it make sense? Does it make sense to you, champion? Okay. Okay. Wow. So um so that now this this is this is this is the how how it, it it works. So if you are here and you have never uh, you, have, you have never locked in, you have never locked in the date to launch your business is time it's time now i'm telling you launch as i said one one week from now two weeks from now and you make your list and this and you say these are the people i'm inviting for my business launch you understand because you find this issue of inviting one person at a time may, may waste you may waste a lot of your time but if the people care about you and you care about them trust me they will be able to uh, to come and support your business launch like i said a new business don't tell them it's only, don't tell them it's Omega Pro is something to do with the investment. No, I just started a new business and they may use your help. Please, can you come over on Saturday over my place? Hmm? I may use your advice. Please come and support me. You have always been there. You know, remember the support and upload, yeah? Uh, upload, which we talked about yesterday. So people will always show up to come and support you. So now the other aspect, uh, uh, which we talk about with the new person who have joined. Remember, everything we are talking about is the conversation we have with the person when they have just joined our business. Now we are helping them to launch their business. We are helping them to schedule a date when on which they want to launch their business, where they can invite everybody they care about. It's called the grand opening. So uh, uh, the, other, the other thing which we're going to cover today is called time, time management. It's very important to warn people about time management. You understand because the moment people start this business, a lot of things are going to are going to uh, are going to to, uh, to happen. A lot of things are going to happen. You know, they are going to a lot of things are going to come in their life, demanding a lot of their personal time. Can you imagine? Hmm? 
So we no matter for, when you join Omega Omega Pro, don't treat it like a business. Why? Because if you treat it as a business, you do this business at your own convenience. You you do this business every time it feels easy. You understand? You do it out of uh, I don't know. It will not be a priority. But if you treat it like a job, let me tell you. If the, the reason why we want to treat Omega Pro like a job, because if your job and your boss told you you have to show up at the office at 6 a.m. is where you have the body room meeting. Trust me, everybody could be here. But because many people treat this as a business, it was their money, it was their capital, nobody uh, bought them their money. So why should Coach Mustafa force me to wake up at 6 a.m.? Why should Valeria force me? You understand? Ah, I'll come anytime, I'll tune in anytime. Ah, office, I may come or not come. Uh, those, those, ah, those things, ah. you, know, you understand? Because it's your money, it's your whatever, it's your business. And you feel the only decision you have to make, it has to be 100% made by you. But if you treat, but, but if the other side, you treat it like a job, if you treat this business as a, as a job, ladies and gentlemen, you see, you hold yourself accountable. If it's 6 a.m., you have to show up, it will be on your schedule. You find yourself waking up every morning, known to miss, I'll wake up, I'll wake up and win. If it's, it's, uh, it's treated as a job, and your boss told you every day you have to make 10 phone calls. If not, they will not uh, deduct your salary. You find that every single day you are going to make you, you make 10 phone calls. Vast, uh, vast in the person who is just treating it as a, as a hobby, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, just a business. If it's a job and your boss tells uh, you uh, the job requires you to do uh, maybe two presentations per day. Trust me, before you go and, 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 and uh, back home, you do those two presentations because it's part of your job description. So if you're treating this as a job, the question is, what should be a job description in Omega Pro? If you visualize your day, I mean, you have to wake up early, 6 a.m., uh, 6, 6, 6 you have to be having the budget for, 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 for this business, you have to make uh, calls, you have to attend Zooms, you have to invite people, you have to present to people, you have to follow up on the people you present it to, so everything will be on schedule. So, uh, as you join this new, this business of Omega Pro, yes, I congratulate you, do, but time management is very important. So you need to allocate time for different activities within the day. Yes, some people who have jobs that are going on, uh, you may feel, ah, I cannot treat it like a job when I already have a job going on because I may not have the full time like you guys, for you, this is what you're doing full time, but for me, I have my job. Yes, even if you, you have a job, this be a part-time job. And if you treat it as a part-time job, even if you are busy, even within your work schedule, you can get just 15 minutes increment. You, you, you understand, 15 minutes increment. Some of you are busy, but not productive in your offices. Let's be honest. Many people they spend, they are in offices, but they are always on Facebook, they are always inst on Instagram. You understand? You, you can locate 15 minutes out of your, your, your day. Maybe when you have just started at work, you first um, send people some messages, uh, share, share the link, the Zoom link about the evening presentation, then after you focus on your day job. Then uh, during the break time, uh, as your other few employees are going for a breakfast, for you, you can also schedule another 15 minutes because the breakfast is maybe for one hour or 40 minutes you can get maybe 15 minutes out of that and make some calls to your people you're going to meet in the evening after work you understand and during lunch time you can also get another 15 minutes increment don't use because if your lunch starts at uh, 12 30 uh and you are coming back to your office at uh at 2 p.m those people were employed i mean you have already one over one hour don't just go with your employees to gossip about things that are not productive because you have a side job remember I said the job requires some activities and you have not made the calls. I don't feel comfortable. So it's, it's, you, you allocate that another 15 minutes during the lunch break and call people after work when people they are, they are, they are, they are, they are slashing into the traffic jam. For which you can stay a little bit longer in the office and make some schedule for, uh, for the Zoom and make some appointment. Maybe even you can do a Zoom call inside, in, in, inside your office. So if you treat it like a job, you always allocate time. I'm talking about employees who are, who are here, who are using their job as an excuse why well, they cannot give Omega Pro time it requires. Even if that's your workplace, this is another job. You can always allocate 15 minutes uh, in, uh, uh, increment within the day. And you may find that you're giving us your Omega Pro business two hours, but not at once, but 15 minutes at a time. 
and you do other things, 15 minutes, you do other things, 15 minutes, you do other, other things, you make calls, hope it makes sense. Uh, so this one makes us to have our daily method of operation. We need to define our, our daily, we call DMO, daily method of, of, of operation, meaning daily method of operation, these are, these, um, these are activities you have there, which you have identified uh, that can build your business and increase the result in your business. And you are willing to repeat them on daily basis to create the result, to create the desired results. And by this, the daily method of operation can be, you know what? For me, in my own, in, in my Omega Pro business, this is what I do. Mm? I wake up at 6, 6 a.m. I join the wake up and win. It's part of your daily method of operation to build your business. I wake up and I remind everybody in my team to tune in for wake up and win. Mm? For, 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 from, 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 from there, uh, I make calls. I, I, I have to make 10 phone calls a day to invite my personal uh, prospects and I schedule appointments. I have to make calls so that I can schedule appointments uh, uh, for the day. I have to do two presentations per day. So these are daily methods of, of, of operation. And more importantly, I have to lead a book every single day. I did 30 minutes when I'm reading a book about personal development. It's part of the daily method of operation. And more importantly, I have to attend, I have to invite at least a minimum five people in our evening Zoom presentation. In our evening presentation, like today we don't have the idle presentation, but we have, we have what? We have uh, the Geno Africa Zoom presentation with GLE uh, team. With the Geno Africa presentation for last hours is gonna be next uh, next uh, next Tuesday, so it's very important that every that, that you help your new person to design his daily method of operation. that can visualize how his day starts, what he's going to do within that day, that will build his his or her business, and how it will end the day. Very important. So once that is defined, meaning what's what's left is to keep showing up. And to make sure whatever activities he or she defined are always repeated. Then let's also become a slave to uh, to good habits because many of us are involved in uh, in habits that are wasting a much of our time. No wonder we don't have time for our business. But if you ask, if I ask you, like the Mustafa, all the, all uh, all all the person who has time for his Omega Pro business, they we all have the same time. Everybody has twenty four hours a day, rich or poor. You understand? Uh, winning or losing in America, we all have the same time. But the, what what are we doing with our times? What makes the difference? Other people may like it or not, they uh, they have to watch TV. They have to they spend so much time on social media, uh, doing do, doing a lot of uh, use useless stuff. They spend uh, a lot of time in bars. They spend a lot of time in uh, in in uh, watching uh, uh, sports, football. This you know. No, let's let's uh, 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 let's be slaves to good habits. Good habits may be habits that are taking your life to the next level. Everything that's taking your time. Ask yourself: Is it adding value to me, or is it, or is just wasting my time? Is it adding value to me, or is wasting my time? You hear me? Hmm? Steps to go to, to, to the good habit. For example, the good habits that I may talk about here are uh, one. Waking up early is a good habit. Those time you have to you used to sleep until the sun is out. But now you are adapting a new habit of waking up early. It's a good start because you take your life to the next level, right? Because all successful people, they wake up early. They keep time. Mm? And if you wake up early, you can accomplish a lot of things more than a person that wakes up at his own, at his own convenience. And, and n n n n number two, you can start, instead of spending a lot of time on social media, you can adapt to start leading at least uh, 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 two or three pages of a very good book. Like this month, we are reading a book called Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. I hope everybody in Tanzania got a copy of that book. It's what we are leading. We are leading. Uh, so um, you should start leading, devote time mm? to work on your medulla of Bronco, to work on your mind. Are you, are, are, are you with me? And maybe you may say, okay, uh, for your, your health goals, what am I going to do? Maybe. Let me go sign up for the gym. Okay, I'll go and uh, do a healthy walk or I do some jogging, maybe for 30 minutes. Those are good habits. You understand? If you're in shape, it, it will also help, it will help your mind. But most of you are so busy doing nothing, but where you are passing when you bypass a gym, you bypass a gym, you are going out of shape, 
you hated it. You told you thing, and you are seeing how. How? Why? Because you are a slave to bad habits. But that can change. You understand? Hmm? But more importantly, you can decide to make a decision to attend, uh, attend, uh, attend events. Hmm? You understand? So that you can start going, to start prospecting. You, start, you, you go there out to meet people, start networking. There are what you call networking events, maybe for lottery, maybe whatever. We, you never used to attend them. Now start attending them because you know when you go there and default maybe uh, so, uh, maybe 30 minutes there, 40 minutes there, maybe you can get in contact with new people. And these people, uh, sooner or later, you can influence them to join your business. So time management is very key. People don't keep time in, net in, in, in network marketing. You make a meeting like right now, uh, we make a meeting, it says 6 a.m., guess what? Somebody shows up at 6.30 and he thinks it's okay. Why? Because it is his business. He put his own money. Coach Musta cannot blame him. You understand? Valeria cannot blame him or her. Julius cannot blame him or, or him or her because he thinks it's okay. Why? It was my money. I put my money. I decide when I, I tune in to, uh, to my time. Let me tell you, if you don't keep time, hmm, uh, it will affect everything you are doing. You understand? Yeah. And if, if uh, it, 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 let me tell you, people who don't keep time, it's a definition that they don't value you. You understand? Let me tell you, the biggest sign of disrespect is when you make an appointment with, uh, with someone uh, to meet at, uh, at, uh, mid, uh, at exactly midday. Mm? And for you, show, uh, uh, and the person is there uh, on time, yet you are the one who made the appointment, somebody is there on time. For you, you come after 40 minutes and you come smiling and you think it's okay. And you think when you apologize, the person will understand. And even you never took you, you never took it to yourself to call a person that I'm gonna be caught up, I'm gonna be in the jam, so I may, I may be delayed. Networkers, we have that mistake. We think it's okay to do things any way we wish. We are not professional at all. But in the real business corporate world, people who are in the job world, they, they understand. That's why we like you treat it like, as a job. When your boss tells you the board meeting is gonna be at 6 a.m., you better wake up at 4 a.m. and get yourself on the Lord. Because if you're, you've, you've come to deliver your that report late, trust me, it may, even it may cost you, you the job if you don't keep time because the company lands on that meeting. If that board meeting is the, the life of the company depends on it and they cannot allow you to, to mess it up. You understand? So guys, when you bring up, just warn them about time, time, give them the schedule for the Zoom. Tell them the Zoom starts at 6 a.m. Our wake up and win. When you're doing our session, uh, in the evening, maybe for our, our Zoom presentation, is 8 p.m. So don't come at, uh, at uh, 8.40. You'll miss a very important part. You know, actually, if you don't keep time, it's better don't even to show up. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like a person can join the wake up and we right now, but avoid the phone. He has missed a lot of value. But you're asking what he was he doing. He knew that it was a Zoom, but somehow he first did a lot of stuff here and they are wasted a lot of time because time management is not within uh, him or, or uh, him or her mind. So ladies and gentlemen, time management is key because these people are gonna join this business. They're gonna set up an appointment with the important people, but along the way, they will not keep time. They will not keep time and it will affect uh, the how, uh, who, jo who joined them. You come, the person who, was, who has the potential of joining your business, but because you never kept time, it shows that you are not professional and you are not serious about what you are doing. And even you don't value me. If you knew the meeting is going to be at 2 p.m., already you tell me at 12 p.m., I kept my time. <laughs> we have an event going on. We have a dinner. Your people don't keep time. You understand? Be on them. Tell them, you know what? We ask the dinner is starting at this time. Our business conference is starting at this time. Make sure you are here at this 15 minutes early in advance. One the people, like even we do, we do events, you know, people in Tanzania, in Tanzania, in Uganda and everywhere. You know what happens? We do events and people who are members of the business, who are our members, who are supposed to organize this event together. They show up after their prospects. The people they invited, they are already in the room. For them, they come later. How? It's, it's as if they didn't know about this day. We organize this event. We put our tickets. We put the time on, we put the time on those tickets. But and the, the event is supposed to start at 1 p.m. Hmm? 1 p 1 p.m. for you show up 
at 3 p.m. when the event is about, about to end, and you are a member in Nairobi Partners, and you are a member in, a, in, 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 uh, in Omega Pro. What, what image are you trying to show to the, to, to the person you, who, whom you are leading? You are telling them keeping time is not so important in this business. But if you're going to be good leaders, timekeeping should be part of uh, should be part of, uh, of uh, our delivery decision we are going to make. I'm, make a decision that I'm going to keep time for every event that is that will impact my business. I'm going to keep time on every appointment I will set with the prospect. And even if you're setting up, up the, the time with the person, the people know you, that's part of your good habit, that Leste is a good timekeeper. If Leste uh, or Julius tells you that we are going to meet at 2 p.m., you understand, and somebody shows up, you understand, like for you, like we have this habit, it normally happens, I've seen it many times. Like we can have, a presentation we agreed at uh, 1 p.m. People they bring their prospect and they start doing the presentation. They start even now the person will bring his his or her prospect when the meeting is is about to end. You have done. You have you, you know you are exhausted as the presenter as the leader. And for him they know. Ah, even if you come, if, even if you come any time, I will talk to Mustafa. I will talk to Valeria. They will always get time and they present to you a private session. Because just, just look at that level of disrespect. You understand? And you find you, are, you find a leader struggling to repeat himself everything he was presented to the group. Now he has to present to the person who never kept time. If, uh, if, I'm, if, uh, if I'm the one in that event and you bring that person, I tell you, no, I will not present to that person. You who allowed your person to do don't keep that time to keep time, be the one to present to that person. Maybe I can help you to I help you to cross. But if you want me to present, if we agree that the event is going to land. Mm? At, at, uh, at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Bring your prospect at maybe 15 minutes early so I can keep time. So when I start to flow, they get the best of the value. They understand and answer every question that is about Omega Pro. But, if you, uh, but for you, you bring the point, the Zoom is about to end. And after, uh, you, you tell Coach Musa, can you come back to the Zoom and present to my person? Many, may, maybe after the Zoom, I already have other appointments scheduled. So you are, you are becoming an inconvenience to, to the, another person is, uh, 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 appointment, you, you understand. Mm? So, so time keeping, time management is a very, very big factor. It shows that you value your upline, uh, you value your downline, and even you value the prospect. I don't know if it's making sense. If it's making sense to you, please type free in the chat box. If what I'm talking about makes sense, and you have been a victim of that, and you have seen people. Um, who are who, who are victim of the of this in our uh, in our team? Please type free in the chat box. Wonderful. But sometimes you cannot blame this for because you never sat them down and tell them part of my good habit. If I'm gonna work with you, if I'm gonna help you succeed, if I'm gonna help you win, if I'm gonna help you get your capital back, if I'm remember this person, I already set him with the the, the goal. The, the goal he wants it. He, he, I know his why. I know he's a strong reason why he's doing Omega. But now I'm telling him, for us to move, time management is key. You understand? I cannot work with you. I cannot, I cannot be able to help you if you cannot keep time. You, you called your people, and, you, and we struggled to make the appointment, and the person told us, come at 2 p.m. And for you show up at 3 p.m., and you come in somebody's office smiling, and you think it's okay. People, they have the other schedules. If it, even there's a chance, you start to get that appointment. Value that appointment. If someone told you at 1, 1 p.m., don't stay settle from your home at 1 p.m. Leave your home at at least uh, one hour earlier so that you are in that meeting 15 minutes earlier. 15 minutes. For me personally, I used to be a, I used to be a victim of this. Me personally, I was the worst timekeeper. I was the worst timekeeper, but it affected, it affected my credibility as a leader. You understand? And for me, I used to think because it was okay, I can explain to, I can explain to everybody. You understand? It was, uh, I, let me tell you, let me, let me, let me give you my, my, my personal testimony. If, uh, I, I remember, I, 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 I remember setting up an, an, an appointment, one big guy, one big guy who, who had a chance to put some serious money in this business uh, in the very beginning. So what, 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 what I did, I got caught up with a jam, you know the thing, or because you want to drive, I have my Mercedes Benz, I want to show up. When sold in Lakzale, you, know, you understand that uh, at least I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere in life. Hmm? So the jam got me delayed for about uh, 30 minutes. So this person was already at the hotel. He had waited for me. 
So when I left, I left there, uh, uh, I left there, that guy, he had arrived 30 minutes earlier mm, because he valued me, because he's been following me on social media and knows what about what, uh, what I'm going to present can change, can change his life. So he arrived there 30 minutes, so don't know to disappoint me. He waited for me for 30 minutes. The time left, I had to wait for another 30 minutes. 30 minutes. He waited for one hour. So when I showed up, I came telling you, yeah, my, my, my boss, uh, so, sorry, sorry, uh, I got caught up by the, by, by, by the jam, blah, blah, blah. But remember, I didn't call. There, there was a jam staff because I knew I'm on the way. Huh? So the guy told me, uh, Mustafa, you are very stupid. I cannot do business with you. I cannot do business with people who don't keep time. That's what they did. I don't on me that timekeeping is very, the guy stepped out. I never had it. I never had that. He waited for me just to make that clear. He told me I could have waited because I wanted to help you. That's why I stayed here to tell you how stupid you are. You cannot, I had a lot of programs. You called him, you have been on me for the past two days, uh, two days. And I got time. Now I got time. You never showed up. And you are here trying to explain for me to understand. He told me you are very stupid. And if in the, in the business I'm doing, you will be a failure. I don't, if you don't improve that, even what you are doing, you are going to fail. And the guy walked away and even paid the bill. Trust me, I sat, I sat in that, in, in, on that chair, in, on that restaurant. And trust me, uh, I, I've never weighed that weight. You know, sitting on the chair and you feel like you cannot stand up again. And down on me. I was like, ah. Now, where, where it least personally, I have, I, I, have, I have a very good car. But if I set up an appointment, people in Uganda know me. If and if it means uh, leaving the car home and I get on Boda Boda, or you get on my on Matatu, which can move faster, faster through the jam so that I can meet my, my client, so be it. So timekeeping is very, very important. For people who want to do this business as professional, if you cannot keep time, you better just be an investor. Or you just, you just keep uh, signing up people who are on lower level than you. But if you're gonna recruit up, and you get ministers, you get doctors, you get lawyers, you get people of influence under your team, you get nations under your team, you need timekeeping. So when you bring your person, I warn them about timekeeping. You, because if you don't warn them, you call them for, we have members meeting, you not keep time. Uh, and we come excellent to you, you know, you know, you, 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 you know, Kevin, you know, Patrick, you know, Gideas, I was dead by jam, you know, ah, yeah, you know, let the people know you are serious on timekeeping. And if you're going to help them, they need to help them themselves, themselves first. Hope it's making sense to all, to, to all, to all of you, ladies and uh, ladies and, and gentlemen. So uh, I've covered today two, two, two important aspects about time, time management and grant opening. Just imagine if you do the real grant opening, you schedule that this is your lunch date and, and you invite people to you to the venue and everybody shows up and you the person who invited them, you are the one who comes last. Everything is not organized. Everything is not messed up. The microphone are not working. Uh, the, the laptop has fault. The poor are already stayed there. But because you never kept your time, now you are on pressure. You are figuring, figuring out everything. But if you came earlier, before your guests came in, you could have organized everything prior. That's why if we do the IDF events, we, all the members we invited, we are always there at least one hour earlier to make sure that everything is in order so that we don't get surprises. You know, so because if the hour gets to see, see us when we are messed up, it will send a different picture that we are not organized. People who keep time, they present a picture of being organized, being serious and being professional and that even the very people who give, uh, who give them the appointment. So, so uh, uh, that's what I can say uh, because of time. Today, I want us to finish on time so that I can give enough people time to share. Uh, it's already 7, 7, 7 a.m. So allow me to, uh, to give an opportunity to one or two, uh, to, to, to five people uh, here in this call to give us life examples, um, what you have learned best, if this can help you to launch your new person every, uh, in the light way. Because if you don't tell your people, trust me, they are, you, are, you are going to struggle with your downline. I'm telling you, you will end up giving up on your, on your people because you never made a category clear that timekeeping is part of the key to win this business. So uh, let, let, me, let me hear from you what you have liked best from this session, uh, what has caught your attention, what are you willing to do differently? Uh, if you have an example here and there where this thing has affected you. Uh, so tell me, 
Tell me, I tell, tell, tell me, ladies and gentlemen, because all we are doing is we want, we want everybody to make a million dollars. And we are going there, we are going there, guys. So let me see the first person that he wants to share. As, you, as usual, champion, Julius. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm so, so, so impressed yeah. by the topic of today. Yeah. Julia Saturday, an engineer, retired. Yes. This one, time management. It's, very, it's key. You normally say that time is more important than money. If you manage time and use the time wisely, you're going to make a lot of money. You can make more money, but you cannot make more time. That's what we need to value time management. Yes. I just imagine the situation you went through when you said, when the person waited for you to say that you are stupid. Yes. <laughs> and the person was very right. Yes. And uh, once you don't manage time, someone, you, you miss that appointment. Even if you present anything, nothing is going to flow into that person's mind. So time management is very key, and I'm happy for this tension. I'm sure for anybody who has attended this tension, if we manage our time, we are going to to go further, and we are going to we are going to grow fast, and we are going to achieve all that we want in life. Thank you so much for today's tension. I'm so impressed about time management. I'm sure this is the this is the best training we have had for today. Managing time is managing our success. Thank you. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Julius, for that sharing. The next question sharing, please go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you have liked best from today's session. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Resty. Uh, my name is Nava Resty, blessed Kampala, Uganda. <laughs> Very important. I'm so happy. And so glad to be part of this team. Ever since I joined this team, my life has changed. <laughs> Someone can't tell, but me at least I can tell. Yes, yes. Coach, uh, okay, let me, let me use English. But yes. I was also once a victim of time. Yes. One time I invited someone. Yes. And this person came. He kept time. Yes. Reached the venue. Mm. On reaching there, I wasn't there. And every time he was like, Where have you reached? Where have you reached? I'm tired of waiting for you. You told me to come early. You told me to keep time. When I reached, I found this guy at the entrance. And he was like, like time has gone. I've given you one hour. You told me that, that, that you want me for only 40 minutes, but I've been here for one hour and you are not here. So my time is out and I'm going. Good enough, he didn't abuse me that I'm stupid. <laughs> but he went. Yes. And I was so, 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 I felt so, so, so bad. But all the blame was on me because I didn't keep time. Me as a person, I've been a victim of keeping time. Mm. Yeah, I really don't know how to keep time. I always find myself late. Mm -hmm. But at least ever since I joined this, like ever since we started this session this week, at least I've been keeping time. Because at first you told us we have to be committed. You're just helping us. If you're going to help us, we have to, to commit ourselves. So I've, before even this uh, this time management session, I had already started changing my ways. I have uh, I had already started changing my uh, I've already started changing my habits, like the habits of reading. In fact, me I don't want to read, <laughs> but at times I I, I feel like something in my head is reminding me you have to read you have to read you have to read and it's all because of your session and it's all because of the lectures you're giving us uh you you're building another person in me 
And today I've learned a lot that when you keep time, it means you respect that person who you made the, an appointment with. I've been giving excuses. We have a person of excuses. I can give an excuse. I can be there and be there until time has gone. But at least from today onwards, I promise myself to change on this thing of keeping time. And then the other thing of launching the business. I once saw a like video and uh, someone was launching a business before even joining network marketing and I didn't know. But I was impressed and I felt like eh, if I was one of those guests they invited on that event, I would also join that person. Mm. on how they treated them, like how uh, 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 that person showed them the good things of the business. Mm. And everyone there was like, I also want to join. I would also want to join. And on coming, they thought it was just a party. Reaching there, some, 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 some were surprised, some were annoyed because they thought they, are, they were going to party, but reaching there, they found a business at launch. But if I was one of the guests they invited in that video, I would also join that person. So awesome. thank you very much, God. Some things we wow. take them for granted, but they are not. Thank wow. you, everyone. Thank you, Lesti. Thank you, Lesti. Yes, uh, 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 um, Zay Gratian Shumbusho. Uh, Gratian uh, Shumbusho, are you sharing? Okay. I want somebody from Tanzania who has learned something so I can uh, transit everything in Swahili. Uh, Yusufu, are you here? MC Yusufu? Yes, I'm here, Coach Mustafa. Yes, can you can you lap up everything in Swahili and also share your perception of what you have just shared? Uh, okay, let me do it. Yes. Okay, okay. asante sana. Uh, presentation ya leo tumejifunza mambo mengi sana lakini kwenye ishu ya ku eh, kumenage muda ndio jambo ambalo limesisitizwa sana kwa maana ya kwamba unapokuwa na prospect wako ambao unataka waingie kwenye biashara unapoonyesha kwamba wewe mwenyewe uko uh, una, unajali sana muda hiyo kitu inakupa nafasi kubwa sana ya kumfanya hiyo prospect yaone unamaanisha kwenye kile unachofanya. Kwa hiyo namba uh, kitu kikubwa ambacho uh, watu wengi wanaangalia kwamba je, unajali muda? Kwa kama unajali muda automatic inaonyesha uko serious na unamaanisha kwenye kile unachokifanya. Kwa hiyo katika presentation yote hapo coach alikuwa ametoa mfano kwamba yeye eh, aliwahi kuwa na appointment na mtu alafu baadaye akachelewa alafu hiyo mtu akampa warning kabisa kwamba kama hujali muda basi uh, hata hiyo biashara haina maana na hiyo ikamfanya ampe kwa hiyo kujali muda ndo kila kitu kwenye hii biashara yetu ambacho kina draw attention ya huyo mteja au huyo mtu ambaye unataka aingie ndani ya hii biashara kwa ujumla wake ni dhamu na ni dhamu hasa ya muda hiyo kila kitu kwao nadhani kwa ufupi uh, ndugu wananchi wenzangu hicho ndicho kikubwa kilichoongelewa. Thank you coach Mustafa. Wow. Wow wow, wow, yeah. wow. wow. Wonderful. Thanks for lapping that up in Swahili. Now uh, anyone okay. else that want to share? Anyone else that want to share? Yes, uh, 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 uh Shumusho, you can go right ahead. Uh, sorry, that was cause interrupting me here uh, in the morning already. Yes. Uh, uh, you are right. Actually, that has been one of the things we uh, we lived with, particularly for people like me. Uh, it's one of the challenges, actually. Uh, quite a lot of uh, lot of uh, things around. Like Tuesday, I have a meeting at the church every Tuesday from seven o'clock. We have a meeting, so missing out is really. Uh, uh, is a really a compromising situation. I agree with you. I always have learned a lot on the managing time. I've learned a lot, I, I know. But is it really cool? like yesterday? Uh, I was dealing with the, some uh, contractual issues. 
I came in the really uh, night. Then he's uh, managing those. Is there a lot of intervening issues? I agree with you. And but uh, what I usually say is always important to learn and be conscious of the situation. Then you really manage through. Just be conscious. I need to manage the time. I always try my best to uh, to make it where I miss. At least I make a call. Like yesterday, I was meeting one of the prospects, but then he contradicted with the already. It was ongoing. I've been chasing the guy, but he never met. He never make up. Yesterday, he called me in the middle of the contract on the uh, other activity. I told him. Uh, he told me, I am doing this. When I finish quickly, I will come. I said, okay, but I'm also doing this. Uh, it's critical. I cannot miss it out. It's the contract obligation. I have to meet. If we make it, let's do it. I'm not sure we missed it. We agreed to meet it today. So uh, it happens, I know, but I agree with 100%. Camekeeping is critical. When you make appointment, it's always important uh, to make it, absolutely. There's no excuse of that. It's true, true, true that. True and, that. And I love the Julius word. You can make more money, but you can make more time. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You better make it not. Yes, yes. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that's that's uh, that's that's uh, powerful. That's powerful. Let me give two people so to share. Thank you. Yes, uh, I was talking to myself actually. A call came to me. Take my call. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I was saying that uh, guys, we take the note from Julius who said you can more money, you can make more money, but you can make it not more time. Though in Tanzania, in Africa, we say we have more time actually that we don't even know time that time is limited we are, we have time, time more limited than the money we don't know i think so what i'm trying to say we better guys and i read that notation from julius time is limited we have we can make more money we can we cannot make more time Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thanks Thank you for Thank sharing. You. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, uh, Delphine, are you sharing also? Yes, good uh, Good morning to everybody. Good morning to you. Yeah, I'm already excited today, this morning, uh, because of this session. For sure, I remember my coach, uh, Mustafa. One day he was working with a Filipino. He made me a question. He said, between money, what's if, what's expensive? When I heard it, it was about money and time. For me, I understood that money was expensive. <laughs> now, because of this session of day, I realized that for sure time is expensive. That then money, I really appreciate uh, the way you are now. Training us, Coach Mustafa, for sure. Though I've been sleeping for a long time, I know from now on I wake up, I have to keep my time, I have to to work hard from today and keep time for everything. So thank you, thank you, my Coach Mustafa, and thank thank you all the members in. Uh, and in the group. Oh, okay. Have a good day. Okay, yeah. Delphine, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I see um uh Ilia uh, Ilia so uh Ilia go go right ahead and share. I will raise up your hand. Hello, champion most coach Mustafa. Good morning. Good morning to you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much for a good presentation and all what you shared with us. Uh, to me, I'm so, so excited for this presentation as our, our fellow uh, already contributed. To me, I have 
a very brief thing to remind our <laughs> fellow champion. Uh, you know, time management is something very important to everybody. <laughs> no matter you are in the business, you are out of the business. True. Uh, time management is something very important. Uh, as we know, time is a very limited resource we have in our life. True. And the time is everything which brings money in our life. Yeah. So if everybody uh, uh, keep uh, keep time wisely, uh, definitely everybody will make money. Will be <laughs> will be somebody else. Yeah. So uh, as we pass it through time management, everybody if we keep time managing, uh, it will be uh, a, a puncture in time managing. Uh, everything you do, you do on time. You do on the right time, uh, specifically in the business. You know, even if you are an employee, you have to keep time. You are paid by your time you spend at the work. <laughs> so uh, time management is a, a crucial, a, a crucial thing, a, a crucial asset to keep, to manage it very wisely. It's a very limited time. Sometimes I'm talking with people, uh, my, my prospect, he told them, uh, if you wanted to, to know exactly that your time is very limited, try to go uh, sometimes to the, to, the, to the funeral. You may find there uh, people writing at the cross there that this guy born this date and he died this date. Mm -hmm. That means your duration was this. Mm -hmm. So if you use it wisely, it's already gone. If you use it <laughs> uh, just anyway, it's already gone. So yeah, it's a very important thing, this lesson to learn, to keep it uh, in the notebook, to mm -hmm. keep it in your mind, always, always to remember that the time is a very limited resource and it's a very uh, good asset. It's a very good thing to give you money. We and the job, we are paid by the time. Sometimes you sign you sign in time, you sign out by time, you yeah. are paid by time. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much, Coach Mustafa. Wow. Today is wow. a very good, uh, good, uh, good, good presentation. Thank you very wow. much. Wow, wow! I I I enjoy this submission. Thank you, thank you, thank you, member. This is what I like. I like it when we are in, in when interact. We are learning from each other. I'm not here as a number one expert. We are all here to learn from each other. So I may talk about time, but go leave this to you in a different angle. And when you come to share, it makes more sense to a member uh, in, in, on the call. So sharing is continuous. You are helping the team. So thanks everybody that is uh, the sharing. I also want a lady, uh, uh, Muth, I don't know if uh, uh, our civic executive, I want her to share something today. She was among the first to tune in. Yes, yes. Yes, go ahead, our civic executive. Hi. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Coach Mustafa. Yes. Yeah, morning, everybody. Morning, morning all champions. Morning to you. Good well, morning. well, the session of today, well, was very good. And I've learned a lot. Mm. And also, most of them have contributed regarding the time management. Mm. I also insist on that is very important because when you invite or you you call somebody to meet uh, that somebody has many things to do yeah, true. and when yeah when he or she agreed to meet with you mm. he has set a time maybe this time I'll meet with Anna and then I have something else to do yes. so if you don't I mean, going time, it means you disturb everything. Yeah, true. Which is, yeah, it's not, not good for that. Mm -hmm. And also that, that person, we think maybe this thing is not, not serious. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for the time manage management. Yes. Everybody has to keep on mind that this is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's my contribution. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, wow. That's, that's, been, that's been a powerful sharing. That has been a powerful sharing. Wow, wow. So let's have one final person to share. Yes, um, 
Uh, Noah, go right ahead. Yes, thank you, coach and team. Good morning. Good morning to you. Noah Kampala, Uganda. Uh, uh, Mr. Coach, I was just thinking that how you, first of all, spared time yeah. to learn what you're teaching us. How you spared time to compose yourself to enrich us. How you spared time to... To, 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 to spare what you'd love to be doing, because I know by now you'd be in bed sleeping, but you had to spare time to make sure that you're making, you are impacting someone's life out there. Sure. I'm just in that line that I feel that I need to appreciate you for the time that you spared for us. Otherwise we are here because of you. If you were not, I think would be some other place, but because of you, you having spared time, uh we thank you otherwise uh let me be brief if i already had if you had spared your time wouldn't be here mm. otherwise that's the brief thing i can say thank you for the time that you spared you never mismanaged your time it's the reason why we're here sharing and caring ourselves kudos to everyone bye-bye morning okay thanks uh, thanks noah so um, as 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 usual, our time is uh, is, uh, is is already well, well spent. So uh, let's make sure that to, tomorrow morning, we'll, uh, if uh, we have learned timekeeping, uh, those who are in Uganda, uh, we have our Think and Go Rich uh, book session at midday. Those in Tanzania <laughs> get the book Think and Go Rich. It's uh, it's going to we are, it's very much I've been introducing the Think and Go Rich book session live on the Zoom. So um, uh, get that book if you're in Tanzania. If you don't have you, you don't have it, uh, reach out to me. I will send you a soft copy, and you'll be leading lead, leading uh, that very book. We are getting a lot of value from it. So um, uh, do we have uh, Benson? Do you, Benson in Bear, you want to you want to share something before I cross the call? Me want to say something. Okay. Okay. Hey, yes. Yes. Thank you, Coach Mustafa. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much for yes. your right, nice presentation. Okay, here yeah, what I enjoyed a lot. What I want to know that is to, to congratulate you that everything what you know in time, time is the, the key for success. So I'd like to, to thank you for everything that you remind us yeah. and we could utilize the time in, in a proper way to, the, our, to our perspective, to our downline and to everything that uh, we could mind each other so that we work together and we go together smoothly in our business. So thank you for a lot for for nice presentation and the, what I want to, to say that you reminded us that time is the key for success. Thank you a lot. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's powerful. Yes, Julius, lap it up everything and they cross the call. Because yes, yes. Is now uh, um, I'm Julius from Uganda. And very serious to build the business until I make a million dollar. Really? Now, there's one thing that uh, we have wrapped, we have not uh, we have not uh, taken up serious. Mm. That is a uh, business launch. Yes. This is one of the most things that uh, people have focused on time, but the business launch is what is key on the on the morning session that you've had today. Because we have very many people that have joined our business. But they have been struggling for the past one, three, four months, but they have not gotten any sign up. The biggest problem is because they have not launched their business. Yes, yes. So this is what you should take serious. Anybody that is that is already on call, anybody who is in business and has not signed anybody and every day is working, has been working, he has not launched his or her business. Very important. Mm. And I say we want to be practical. Everything we learn, we have to be practical. True, true. So uh, I call everybody on this call who has been struggling to now plan for a business launch. Mm -hmm. We are very much available to visit your homes mm -hmm. and talk to your people. Or you can make a business launch at a, at, at a nearby restaurant or a place where you normally meet your people from and invite your people and make that business launch. If, if there's 20 people, because in my previous companies, you'd hear someone that I made my business and I signed up 20 people. 
Mm, mm, I signed mm. up 10 people at once. Mm, mm. I signed up three people at that is going to be a very big jump start for mm. our program, for our business. I'm mm. sure if you bring all your own market, you use the invitation, create that business launch, we are, everybody's going to have results. Mm, mm. So let us do this practical and let us do it as soon as possible so mm. that we can see results. Otherwise, if you continue training when you're not seeing results, some people are going to get bored. Mm. So business launch is something I'm emphasizing. Anybody who has not launched his business should launch it and make sure that you collect all your own market. It's a business mm-hmm. that we introduce business to our own market. And mm-hmm. it's our own market that once they understand, they are, going to, they are the people that join us as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. That's what I can wrap up for today. Maybe, Coach, you can add something to emphasize on that point. Yeah, actually, yeah, you have said everything. Uh, the, the entire point was about uh, business, business launch. That's the first item I, I, I tackled. So uh, uh, if you have not launched your business, your, your business, forget about the numbers we are seeing in idea partners. Forget about the people we are seeing in events. The question is, how many people are there of, of, of uh, in your team or your guests? So a business launch it will save you a lot of time. It will save you a lot of time. But if it's gonna take you maybe uh to a, maybe three months for you to sign up ten people, if you organize a business launch launch, you can have those signups within just one business launch. So uh, if you want to save time and create results faster and you have never launched your business, schedule schedule time, either in your, in your home, either nearby restaurant, either uh, organize a small mini event uh, in any private, uh, a private place you feel like, uh, whatever, maybe tea party, maybe you can organize a dinner, maybe you can organize an evening tea, invite everybody, you understand, to your business launch. The same way you do for a wedding launch. It's the same style. Is the same style, and people will show up to come and support you, and surprise them with that with uh, with with the business, and they will appreciate you. They will appreciate you because they came to support your business launch. So it's very important. If you have not launched your business, you are doing yourself a disservice. And uh, meaning, if you, if yourself you have not launched the, uh, the business, meaning every person you invited, and they are in part of your business, you'd never tell them to schedule the date for their business launch. So it starts with you. Uh, launch your business and challenge everybody under your team to have debts for their business business launch so that you you have all your weekends booked all your friday evening booked and you're helping all your downlines to launch their business by starts with you so uh thanks thank you everybody hope you have got value from today's session uh see you tomorrow morning uh same time same link other than that may the good lord uh who brought you and uh woken you up uh early enough See you succeed within the within, within, within the day, within, within the day. So let let God lead the way. I know this day is gonna be amazing to everybody, with the help of God. Thank you, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Amen to that. Bye bye. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Coach Mustaf. Amen.